On this episode of China Uncensored, a detained Taiwanese activist gives a confession at an open trial in mainland China. Welcome back to China Uncensored. I'm Chris Chappell. Love means never having to say you're sorry. Unless you're a Taiwanese citizen who betrayed the love of the Chinese motherland by criticizing the Communist Party, then you need to apologize. On television, with two policemen behind you. This is Li Mingzhe. He's a Taiwanese democracy activist. He went missing back in March when he visited mainland China. People were worried about him at the time, but then he reappeared only six months later, safely in a courtroom in China, being charged with subversion of state power. It's what authorities called an open trial. Open in that it would be an open and shut case. His wife was allowed to fly in from Taiwan to attend. She had this to say before leaving Taiwan. I want to plead to the Taiwanese people that if they see Li Mingzhe making unpleasant actions or statements during the trial that are not in accordance with his free will, please forgive him. This is just the forced guilty plea that China is so good at. And to show her support, she even got these arm tattoos. They say, Li Mingzhe, I'm proud of you. Yeah, Chinese prison is so hardcore, people on the outside get the tattoos. Well, anyway, with three very serious looking judges and policemen seated nearby, Li Mingzhe made his confession, totally of his own free will. I spread malicious attacks that defamed the Chinese Communist Party and China's government and China's current political system, and I incited subversion of state power. Subversion of state power is a really broad charge that can mean pretty much anything the Communist Party wants it to. Li also confessed he committed these acts of subversion because he had been misled by media in the West and Taiwan about the reality of mainland China. Hmm. That sounds suspiciously similar to the confession made by Chinese human rights lawyer Jiang Tianyong last month. Jiang also said that he had been misled by Western ideas. So what kind of misleading ideas did Li Mingzhe have? Well, Li is a community college professor in Taiwan. More importantly, he also volunteers with an NGO that monitors Taiwan's adherence to international human rights standards. He had frequently made trips to China to discuss Taiwan's transition from martial law to democracy. But when Li traveled to mainland China this past March, he disappeared. Eventually, the Communist Party announced that yes, they had abducted Li, a citizen of Taiwan, and held him for over 170 days under investigation for harming national security. So apparently, the Chinese regime has decided to make it crystal clear to the entire world that they will never adhere to those evil Western ideas like international human rights standards or transitioning to democracy. This is especially a big deal in Taiwan. Li Mingzhe is the first Taiwanese citizen to be charged in mainland China with subversion of state power. And his case has created a big strain on China-Taiwan relations. Relations have already not been particularly good since the new Taiwan president, Tsai Ing-wen, was elected in 2016. She belongs to the Democratic Progressive Party, which believes that Taiwan is independent from mainland China. After Tsai took office, China suspended direct diplomatic contact with Taiwan. But not only does Li's case further strain relations, it also raises the much bigger question of what will happen if mainland China and Taiwan are ever unified the way the CCP insists they must be in the future. Even people in Hong Kong are concerned. They held a protest on Monday. I'll let former Hong Kong legislator and democracy activist Li Chuck Yang explain. And it's a warning from the Chinese Communist Party. Uh, anyone outside China, including Taiwan or even Hong Kong or elsewhere, you know, if you want to, uh, uh, you know, sort of what their words interfere in Chinese internal affairs, supporting human rights, then you will be arrested. So essentially, Li Mingzhe's case represents the larger issue of how the CCP treats people who've committed so-called crimes that, in democratic countries, would be considered free speech. As for Li Mingzhe, he's still awaiting the sentence in his case. The Taiwanese government has pledged to do whatever they can to ensure his safe return. The Communist Party still has a chance to soften the impact, for example, by deporting Li back to Taiwan instead of throwing him in prison. 
But no matter what they do now, they're not going to convince the people of Taiwan that reuniting with the mainland is going to be all sunshine and rainbows. And coming up after the break, the Chinese Communist Party is losing my religion. Where did they put it? You know, you could have seen this segment a week earlier if you had gone to ChinaUncensored.tv. We upload a full half-hour episode every Friday for free. So if you haven't already, be sure to check out ChinaUncensored.tv.